Que vuelta serie, this is Jose from Southern Life. In this video, we're going to talk about 20 Florida town names you can't say. I want you to keep track of how many of these you say wrong. And if you can't say all these right, you may not be from Florida. With over a thousand people a day moving to Florida, some of them might want to learn how to say some of these town names right. Do this with your family, have some fun with this. Are you guys ready? First one is, I can't tell you, you got to read it first. That's that's what makes it fun. You got to read it. So give it a try. How do you think this one's pronounced? dun 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 It's pronounced Dunnellan. This little beautiful town is right by the Rainbow River. It sits on Marion County. It's a beautiful little town. And it's pronounced Dunnellan. Not, not even the locals agree on how to pronounce this one, but I'm pretty sure it's Donellan. This one you gotta be careful with, because if you say it wrong, you might get in trouble. The Fakahashi Strand, and yes, I know it's it's the Fakahashi Strand, but not not like it's Fakahashi. Like Faka is one word. Don't put a pause between the K and the A, because if you do, then you're using profanity. The strand I definitely recommend you go on the James scenic memorial trail it's a beautiful trail this one can also get you in trouble because you don't want to say this one wrong the proper way of pronouncing this one is homosassa homosassa you know like <laughs> okay something came to mind and I'm not even gonna say it but uh, you get the idea you don't want to say this one wrong either homosassa there you go. This one is, it's a Native American word that means living in a trailer. Como tu te atreves a decir eso, bro? Anyways, the proper way of saying it is Immokalee, and I think it means my home. Say it with me. Immokalee. Immokalee. Let it go one smooth thing. You can't, like, separate it. All right. This one is very similar. If you got Immokalee right... Then this one's very similar. It's probably also a Native American word. It means Puerto Ricans riding around in Honda Civics. Kissimmee. Not kissy me or Kissimmee. Say it with me. Kissimmee. And if I say some of these things wrong, then don't be mad at me. I'm trying the best I can, alright? If you're a Floridian, you, you should know these things by now. Now this one, I've had people pronounce it so wrong that I, I couldn't even know what they're talking about. It's a suburb of Naples, basically. You know, it's part of the Naples area. And it's pronounced Laley. Laley. Is it Laley or Laley? Laley, like, think about Lady. Laley. Like, Laley High School. Laley. Laley. You get the idea. Laley. Alright, this one's not any easier. Lada Lusa. I'm not even gonna let you try to guess this one. It's Lada Lusa. Lada Lusa is a swamp in the middle of nowhere near Ocala. It's hot, it's humid, it's full of mosquitoes and swamps. And uh, they have some really good bass fish in there. Lada Lusa. And there's actually a song called Lada Lusa. It vents the anger of a native Floridian about development and how they're destroying the entire state of Florida. I like this song a lot. All right, this one, uh, there's a few ways to say it, like Matlasha. That's not the right way of saying it. Matlasha, Matlasha, and it's uh, it's a nice little tourist town actually, right outside of Cape Coral. This is a tourist town that's actually pretty neat. It's kind of like a neat little beach town with lots of little stores and stuff. Matlasha. Okay, this one is uh, also another Native American name. The right pronunciation is Mikanopi. Mikanopi. Not Micanopi or Snoopy, Noppy, Canopy or Canopy or McCanopy. Mikanopi. Say it with me, children. Mikanopi. When I move to Florida, you better get this crap right because we're going to know you're a Yankee. You know what happens to Yankees? Oh, wait, this is uh, this is Florida. We're not in Alabama. All right, never mind. Okay, here's another one you want to learn. This is a Native American word that means drunk in a casino. I think. 
Mick, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Mikasuki, Mikasuki, Mikasupi, 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 Mik I know how to say this. I got mixed up with the other one. Mik Mikasuki, I know how to say this. Mik Mikasuki, I know how to say that. All right. I do know how to say that, by the way. It just, I got confused with the other one. Are right, you guys ready for this one? It's a beautiful swamp in uh, in central, south central Florida. Mayaka. The Mayaka River. It's beautiful. It's right outside of Sarasota. It's probably the only nice thing in Sarasota. All right. Moving on to this one. Now, I had a subscriber or somebody who watched my channel get really upset at the way that I pronounce this. As long as I've lived in Florida, it's been Okeechobee. Apparently, the subscriber thinks there's a different way of saying it. As far as I know, it's Okeechobee. And it's a Native American word that means lake in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by sugarcane. I'm not sure about the origin of these words. Here's another one that's interesting. I don't even want to know what the real meaning of this one is. Uh, if somebody knows why on earth it's named Opalaka, please comment on the videos. Mikasuki. There we go. Okay, so Opalaka is uh, it's a suburb of Miami, I guess. Uh, you might have seen it on rap music videos, and that's about it. Opalaka. Yeah, that's a weird one. Opalaka. You should probably never have to go there. All right, this is one uh, you'll learn in school. If you went to school in Florida, of course, most of you went to school in some yank state up north. I'm sorry, guys. I've been in Alabama too long. All right, this is Swanee. Swanee River, and actually, there's a song about the Swanee River, or it's the State River of Florida, I don't remember, they tried to teach me this stuff in the 4th grade, or was it the 6th grade, I can't remember, I wasn't paying attention, Swanee River, it's a river or Florida, the bird of Florida, I don't know, I wasn't paying attention, alright guys, here's one you gotta be careful with, because they will know you're not from around here with this one, the U is silent, it's Washula, so if you say Wow Chula, they know you're a yank. I can't keep saying this. All right. Washula. There's a lot of Spanish people here, and I'm pretty sure the Spanish people in the area are the reason it's called Washula, because Washula in Spanish is wa-pimpin'. Like, this town's pimpin', yo. Okay. This one is a Native American word that means making meth behind a trailer. I'm not really looking these things up. I'm just making it up as I go. It's pronounced Wikiwachi. It's uh, right outside of Spring Hill, Florida. And, uh, well, you can watch the manatees swim in clear water or stand in a line of 5,000 people in a chance to do so. Might take a few hours in that line. Never been there. Just seen the lines when I'm driving through. All right, this was our cover photo. And apparently, I forgot to crop it. It's uh, one of the most, it is the most Mexican city in Florida. Even more Mexican than Immokalee. It's pronounced Wimauma. And there's a corrido, a Mexican corrido, about this town that breaks down uh, exactly how they get drugs shipped in by trailer loads to this town. I think the DEA or the FBI might want to look into that if they have somebody that speaks Spanish and listens to corrido songs. Anyways, all right. Uh, that, you, just a good way to put your business out there. Just let everybody know while it's coming in. All right. Alright guys, this one is uh, is uh, outside of Cape Coral, basically, and I also forgot to crop this one. I've had too much to drink today. Alright, uh, this one is pronounced Bokelia, and I think it means, in, and it actually means, like, little mouth, because it's like the end of a cape or something like that, I don't know, Bokelia. And it's not too far from this one right here, uh, Calusa. I don't know why it's, it's, it's spelled that way, but the word Calusa, the Calusas were the native Indians that were in southwest Florida. Usually spelled with a U, but Calusa Hatchie is actually with two O's. Not sure why it's done that way. I'm pretty sure it's the same Calusa River. And Hatchie usually means river in Florida. There you go, you learned something. Hatchie means river. Calusa Hatchie probably means the Calusa River. All right, here's another one, and this one you might have had some assistance by now on how these things are pronounced. This is near Everglades City, Chocolate, yeah, YouTuber. Yeah, when a YouTuber makes a video, 
<laughs> oh, dude, it's cold and it's boring up here. You gotta drink something. Chocolaski. It's uh, right near Everglades City. And the last one on this list. There's a proper way to pronounce this one. The proper way to pronounce this one is Cluiston. But the locals say Cluiston. I'm from Cluiston, dawg. I'm from the muck. Man, I'm from Cluiston, the muck city. Alright, so... If, if you're applying for a job, it's in Cluiston. If you're hanging out with all the homies, it's Cluiston. Man, I'm from Cluiston. Man, don't play with him, man. He's from Cluiston. You know the muck? And uh, I guess if you're really, really a local, then it's the muck city, which is kind of like the whole area around Lake Okeechobee on the south side or something. Is Cluiston part of Muck City, or is it just not? I think Muck City might just be Boga and Pahuki. Is Cluiston part of that? Do you think that I pronounced any of these names wrong? And if you do, which one? How many of these did you get right or wrong? I want to know how many real Floridians we got up in this channel. So let's see if anybody on this video actually knew how to pronounce all of these. And don't be lying about it. Be honest. How many did you get right? How many did you get wrong? And were you insulted by any of my little antics? And if you were, say about little white blood because conmigo no. Ya tu sabes, make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll keep the fun videos coming your way. I hope you guys like this one. I'm just trying to do something a little bit different to keep you guys entertained until I can get down to Florida. And believe me, we're going to get down there soon. I got so much work here in Alabama, I can't get out of town yet. But it's coming soon, especially now that it's cold.